Joining me now is former Texas state senator and former Democratic candidate for governor, Wendy Davis from Texas, also a Clinton supporter. Uh, she joins us from outside the state, but you're, you're known so much, Wendy, uh, Representative Davis, for your involvement in the issue of abortion rights here in Texas. And I want to ask you about the upcoming Supreme Court decision on abortion. It is an issue that you've been so involved with. The Supreme Court next week considers striking down the Texas law that has forced all but 10 abortion clinics to, to shut down in the state. Do you think there's a good chance, given that we have a 4-4 split on the court right now, uh, of that being struck down? I, I do, and I, I think that the reason it will be struck down really relies on the opinion in Planned Parenthood versus Casey, which said that states can regulate abortion care as long as they don't create an undue burden that creates a substantial obstacle for women to be able to access that care. And certainly the months since that law passed in our state, we have seen a, an undue burden on women. There are many instances that were filed as part of the amicus briefs in this case, as well as those in the main briefing. And I believe that the justices are going to find that this creep into abortion clinic closures that have been justified under some guise of protecting women's health have actually endangered women's health, and I believe they are going to strike the law down. Let me ask you about the, the battle here in Texas between the two Democratic candidates. You obviously support Hillary Clinton. She holds a solid lead in the state, according to our recent polls. But when you look at young people in particular, you see that Sanders leads 61 to 30 percent in Texas. Are you concerned that Bernie Sanders is eating into Hillary Clinton's lead here and, and potentially nationally? I'm not concerned about what I see happening in Texas or on the national landscape enough to believe that he's going to eat into the Hillary Clinton lead in a way that will make him the nominee. I believe that Texas is reflective of what we're going to see elsewhere as we go through the Super Tuesday states in, in the coming days. And that is the fact that Hillary Clinton has a proven record of leadership. People have come to know her as someone who is fighting for them, not someone who's coming and asking for their vote late in the day and demonstrating some connection to issues that they care about, but someone who's been on the ground. As you know, Hillary Clinton cut her teeth in Texas, helping to register voters in South Texas many, many years ago. She's been on the forefront of so many of the things that matter to people in states like those in the South, like Texas, where we've seen an assault on voting rights, we've seen an assault on reproductive rights, we've seen an assault on immigrant protections and rights. And Hillary Clinton has shown time and time again a record of supporting what people in Texas want to see. And I believe it's what's going to lift her up and over the line to become our nominee. And just real quickly, do you question young women who are supporting Bernie Sanders? No, I, I respect that Bernie Sanders has a wonderful message and a tremendous appeal to young people across this country. I consider part of my role with the Hillary Clinton campaign speaking on her behalf in states around this country, helping to share with, one, with young women what it is about Hillary that I find uh, reason to support her as our next president. I have had many years of experience watching Hillary Clinton fight for the things that matter so very much to me. And I want to make sure that young women see her record through the eyes of someone who's been watching her for decades. She has never shied away from fighting for the things that matter most to women and that will help us to realize true equal opportunity in this country, whether that's reproductive rights, whether it's making sure that we have equal pay, whether it's making sure that we have adequate access to the education system by making it affordable. Hillary Clinton has shown time and again that she, having walked in our shoes, is best not only situated to fight for us, but will fight for us from a place of very real experience and concern and passion. And it's that passion I'm trying to communicate.
Former state senator here in Texas, Wendy Davis, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.